Hey everyone, my name is Sydney. I'm the content manager here at JobScan. I'm going to show you all of the updates that our engineering team has made to our JobScan tools and show you how you can use them to make your job search easier and faster. Let's get started. First up, hopefully you're already using our Chrome extension, the job, ex the job scan Chrome extension. Um, it adds these two buttons on all major job boards. So LinkedIn, Indeed, Glassdoor, and so on. And it allows you to do a one click scan to compare your resume to the job description you're viewing to tell you if you're a good match for the job. Or you can click this button to save that job to your job tracker so you can track your progress from application to interview and so on. Well, we're really excited to announce that this feature is now av available on Handshake. This is the most popular job board for students and uh, university career centers. So you can now use the same functionality within Handshake. So while I have it open here, let me show you how it works. Uh, all you have to do whenever you're viewing a job listing is click on scan. Job scan already has my resume, so it's going to compare my resume to this job description. I just have to click on view reports and now I can see my match rate for that particular job. Or I could click on save job and the tool will automatically pull in all of the information from the job that I'm viewing. And I can edit this information or add more if I want to and then click save and it will save that job, which I already have, in my job tracker so that now I can track my progress, add more notes as I get interviews. I can schedule those interviews, add them to my calendar. I can upload my resume here. I can add notes as I need to. So this is a really big improvement, a really big new feature for us. Um, this feature was added by Gustavo and our engineering team. Gustavo is actually a really funny guy. He made an appearance in one of our um, Instagram reels. So give a shout out to, Chicago, uh, to Gustavo in the comment section. Now the next few features are in our new Power Edit experience. Now, first of all, this is available to premium customers, JobScan premium users. If you're a premium user and this still doesn't look familiar to you, go to your dashboard. Let me go to my back to my dashboard here and scroll down. You're going to see this call out. Try the new power edit. Make sure you have that on. So click on try it now and that will allow you to use this new power edit experience. We're going to make that automatic in the future, but since it's new, we wanted to give people the option to use the new one or the, um, the legacy version. So we've got some new features here. The first new feature, if I go to style, we've got some new built in templates. Now, all of these templates have been tested by our team um, and run through the most popular applicant tracking system. So they're all ATS friendly and we've got three new templates here. And these templates might look familiar if you've used our resume builder. Our resume builder, by the way, is 100% free. Um, but you'll notice these are the same templates that we've got in our resume builder. So now if you use our builder to build your resume, you can download that for free. Once you put that into power edit, it won't change the template. You'll be able to use that same template that you were using in power edit. So that's, that's really great to be able to keep that, that uniform template that you chose, or you can select another one if you want to, as you notice, it automatically formats all of the text the way that it needs to be. This was also done by Gustavo. So give him a shout out. Now, while we're here, you're going to notice one of the other new features that we've got. You're going to see this add education button. Um, so now in power edit, if you don't have an education section or a core skills section, you're going to see a button to add that. Um, I can also still add it within the editor tab as I could before. So we've got our education section. We can edit it there, but now we're also giving you a call out to remind you to add education or um, your core skills section. By the way, this doesn't show on the, the printed version or the file that you download. It's just within the power edit experience. So all I have to do is click this button and now I can start adding my education or my core skills. While we're in power edit, let's go on to some new features. I'm going to go to the report and you'll notice we've got these five sections here that we check. Let me move my face so you can see the important thing. 
We've got searchability, hard skills, soft skills, recruiter tips, and formatting. So let's look at the recruiter tips to see what improvements I can make with these new features that are available. You're going to notice this call out for paragraph length. Now there's a toggle here. I can choose to turn this on or off. If it's on, it will notify me when I have a paragraph that is just too long. So let me turn it on and you'll notice that my summary here is too long. If I click on it, it tells me it's 92 words, um, 40 words is the maximum. Now that's the recommended maximum. That doesn't mean that if it's too long, it's gonna get cut off when you download it. This is what we recommend based on our research, 40 words max for your resume summary. So I can come in here and edit this, maybe take off this section, uh, maybe take off one of these sentences to make it a little bit shorter there. And so now that message is gone. So that's one new feature. We've also got a new feature here and you're going to see this section words to avoid. Now, right now I'm doing really well. It's given me a green check mark, uh, check mark, but let's say I had a word like, um, I was saying, I am a results oriented content marketer. So we'll let the system read that. And now I have an option to see words to avoid. And again, this is a choice. I can toggle it on or off. If I toggle it on, it's going to highlight that section results oriented because that phrase is a little bit generic. It's actually going to give me tips on how I could improve that. So instead of saying results oriented, give concrete examples of results that you've achieved, you've achieved instead. So a way to improve your resume, um, based on feedback that we've gotten from recruiters. So this is one way that JobScan helps to, one, see if you're a good match for the job. That's always been a core functionality. But we also help you to write a better resume and make sure that it matches the best advice from experts. By the way, these features were added by David Schaefer, who's our uh, senior engineer. He's amazing. He's just a really cool dude. Give him a shout out. Now I've got one more uh, new feature for you. Let's say we're done editing. I'm going to take off this to make sure I don't get that error. And I feel like I'm good to go. I have my resume. Well, now I can download it, of course. And we've added the ability to download your file as a PDF or as a Microsoft Word document. Um, we've tested all of the major ATSs and we found that a PDF is generally the best file format um, in order to make it easy for the ATS to parse the text on your resume. So we recommend a PDF. However, some people prefer to download um, their resume as a Microsoft Word document. So if you're using the modern professional template, you can download a Microsoft Word document. It's not available for all of the templates because again, we recommend a PDF, but we do want to have one available for you in case you need that Word document for whatever reason. So we've added that functionality. David Schaefer added that one too. So thanks, David. So there you have it. Those are all of the new features that our engineers have added to JobScan in January. There's already new features rolling out in February. I just got a message on Slack of some of the new features and, and upgrades that they've made. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe or subscribe to our newsletter on jobscan.co to get updates for that. If you're not already a JobScan premium user, if you saw this power edit and you're like, whoa, I want to use that, you can sign up today for a monthly plan or a quarterly plan. We also have a free trial available so you can sign up and try out those new power edit features. Thanks for watching. I hope you're as excited as I am about these new features. I'll see you all around. Bye.